you have a typical clash of personalities with your mom. What you want to do versus what she needs for you to do. The problem is that you're a teenage girl with secret powers. Will you utilize these powers to rise to the occasion when your mom is in real trouble? Find out if Alex does as we bring back Mac Mondays with a look at the episode from season one entitled Alex and Mom. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. I'm Razman's Reality, here with another video on the secret world of Alex Mac, Alex and Mom. So if this is your first time here and you are passionate about the worlds of entertainment, pro wrestling and sports, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything. Yes, indeed, Mac Mondays after a five month layoff are back. Long story short, I moved and I had some construction done in my home, but we are back in action. As always, if this is your first time viewing an Alex Mac recap episode and you would like to follow along in the series with me, you can pick it up on DVD via Amazon through the no cost at extra to you affiliate link down below in the description box. Also, if you have memories of this episode, let me know what they are down in the comment section down below. Also, you may have noticed that I'm using a combination of two microphones. This is so I can show my face in my intros again and then use my main microphone for better audio quality when we actually show the photos in most of my videos. So let me know what you think about the combination of these two microphones and whether or not this is a good idea or not or if we should we should just go back to the main microphone and deal with it covering up my face in the intro portions. This episode begins with Alex discussing with Nicole and Robin about sneak preview tickets they have to a film called Ruminator 2. They ask Alex why Ray gave her two tickets. Is she going to take Annie or maybe she could take someone else if she has the guts. She then approaches Scott to try and ask him to the movie. But before she can do so, she is interrupted by Barbara, who drives up and tells her that she has to do the grocery shopping and fix dinner for her dad and Annie, as she has been called to an urgent meeting at the plant. Alex pleads her case and is like, Mom, you don't understand. This is a special sneak preview. I can't miss this film. But Barbara says she didn't have time to argue the case and drives away. Which then causes Alex to have to reluctantly give her Ruminator 2 tickets to Scott alone and tell Scott to take whoever he wants to take with him. Scott, of course, is very grateful and says thank you. Barbara arrives at the plant and has Danielle tell her that she is forced to move up a meeting, which Barbara is the head of, to reveal her plans for the power plant. Barbara says, I thought the meeting was next week. And Danielle says, I'm going to be out of town next week. It has to be tonight. Asking Barbara if that's going to be a problem. Barbara assures her that it is not. Meanwhile, back at the house, a very frustrated Alex confronts her mom when she returns home, telling her how embarrassed she was. And Barbara's like, I didn't mean to embarrass you. All I wanted to do was tell you to do what you should have done before. Alex screams, why do you always treat me like a kid? Why don't you ever let me do what I want to do? Which causes her to go into this fantasy. As we see Barbara tied up here out of the way. As Alex fantasizes about having a good date with Scott and utilizing her zapping powers to change the channel on the old school TV knob. Again, something I always get such a kick out of rewatching this show, these 90s references that would so be out of date today. Alex awakes from the fantasy and realizing that she can't do this actually utilizes her telekinesis to unorganize her mother's files in her file keeper. Then while making dinner, Annie tells Alex that she doesn't have to make dinner for anyone as her and George have a meeting at the Einstein Society and will be grabbing a sandwich on their way there. I frustrated Alex says I could have gone to the movies with Scott, but mom told me I had to 
stay here and cook for you guys. George says, don't be mad at your mom. She's been under a lot of stress at work. To which Alex frustratingly says, so what? She loves stress. Meanwhile, the disorganized files in her file keeper caused Barbara to not be prepared for the meeting whatsoever and really embarrassed Danielle and herself in the process. Danielle proceeds to threaten her and say, under normal circumstances, I would fire you immediately. However, this fountain dedication has to go off without a hitch and I don't have time to find someone else to organize it. After that, we will discuss your firm and your future employment with this power plant. Causing Barbara to return home and recount her story and realizing that George and Annie had the Einstein Club meeting after George reminds her, she actually apologizes to Alex and say, says that she can be disorganized as well. Alex, obviously very embarrassed that she nearly got her mother fired, pretends that it's okay, blows it off, but we can see the reaction from the GC-61, which of course takes place when she's in an embarrassing situation. In the meantime, Alex tries to rebound and have a normal life as a grateful Scott invites her to a pool party. Alex sneaks and utilizes her morphing power here to quickly get to Scott and take an open shot from him in the pool game that they were playing. She succeeds in impressing Scott who proclaims to her, man, you just disappeared on me, but great shot. Alex says, I'm very quick. You can't take your eyes off me. For a second, Scott says, I guess not. Alex is very, very happy because things are going very well for her at this point in time. Just after that, however, Annie arrives at the pool party to tell Alex that her mother is in a bind as her staff did not show up for the fountain dedication. Alex realizes after some encouragement from Annie who knows about Alex utilizing her powers to disorganize her mother's files, that she does owe her and her and her pool party friends become the staff and we see Alex utilizing her powers here to get the food ready without anyone looking as we see the cracker flying into the cheese and crackers plate here. There's a fountain malfunctions and refuses to work properly. Alex sneaks and utilizes her morphing powers to make the fountain work and make her mother look good in front of Danielle. We then see that Alex and her mom have made up as Alex confesses the truth to her mom and her mom forgives her saying that no one's perfect and that they're even because Alex did such a good job today and she sends Alex off to Scott who she then apologizes to for ruining his pool party. Scott says actually I had more fun here especially since your mom decided to pay me and I think I owe you. How about I treat you to the movies Ruminator 2. Alex says, but you've already seen that. And Scott says, yes, but I'd like to see it with someone who'd appreciate it. So a feel-good moment for Alex at the end of the episode. And that is how the episode Alex and Mom ends. Not a very strong episode in my opinion because it focused entirely, like all the way through the episode, on the lesson that Alex needed to learn. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I much prefer the episodes that also give us a lot of use of the powers for comical reasons and seeing Alex have to work her way out of sticky situations. So not one of my favorites at all from season one, but definitely not the worst episode from season one either. So let me know what your thoughts are on the episode, Alex and Mom, down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit that brown subscribe icon if you haven't already done so on the right hand side of your screen. On the left hand side you can catch up with all previous The Secret World of Alex Mack videos and my playlist as well as if you're so inclined help out my dear friend Alexis Gomez with her Nashville album project. And as always this has been your Razman's Reality Channel.